Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Stone. Today we're going to be doing simplifying and multiplying and dividing rational expressions. So there's a lot of things that they could involve, but the first few are going to be involving simplifying. If you were dividing by a single term like we are here, then it's no different than simplifying a regular fraction. It's only if you're dividing by a single term. So here, 10 over 50 and 45 over 50 would simplify and you would just divide everything by 5 and you would end up with 5v, divide everything by 5, 2v plus 9 over 10v. Or you could do 2v over 10v plus 9 over 10v, which has an added benefit because 2 over 10 and v over v would cancel. And you would actually end up with 1 5th v plus 9 over 10v. Both of these are acceptable answers, though. Um, it just depends. Okay, but this is an abnormal type of rational expression. The majority of them that you're going to see are going to be like number two, where here you have to factor the top of the fraction and factor the bottom of the fraction. So what multiplies to 25 but adds to 10 is 5 and 5 multiply to equal 25 but add to equal that middle term, which is 10. And then we've met factor the bottom of the fraction, which would end up being what well, multiplies to negative 5, but adds to positive 4, and that would be positive 5 and negative 1. And then typically, one of these things is going to cancel. And here we got 1 for 1. You cannot cancel out more than 1. So this is going to be our final answer, which is the k plus 5 over the k minus 1. There you go. Okay? A variation of that is going to be like on number 3. On number 3, the top of the fraction, no problem n plus 2, n minus 1. It what multiplies to negative 2 but adds to the positive 1. On the bottom of the fraction, I don't like it. I hate this negative n squared. I hate every... It feels backwards. Okay, so what you can do is you can factor out a negative or a negative 1 and then change the signs of everything. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to um, make this positive and this positive and that negative by changing the signs. And I'm going to rearrange them in a way that I like it because I, ugh, before it was just bad. Okay, so this is something that is very typical where it really wouldn't have factored or made the right things until you did this. Because now when I factor, it's what multiplies to negative 7 but adds to 6. That is positive 7 and negative 1. Don't forget the negative that we factored out in the beginning. And now these would cancel. If we didn't factor out that negative 1... This might have been an n plus 1, and we would have had to factor it out at the end. So this is going to be n plus 2 over n plus 7. A lot of times you'll see a negative in front, but the negative could have also just been on the bottom like it was to begin with, or even on the top, but sometimes you see it out front. I don't like doing it because then sometimes I miss it, and I think it's still the fraction bar. Okay? All right. We're moving into multiplication now. Multiplication changes nothing. Absolutely nothing. From what we were doing before, you just have to think of this as like one big fraction bar, essentially. Yeah, they're multiplied together, but it's one big fraction bar. And then you can simplify everything individually or however you want, really. So for me, I could do 10 divided by 2 and get 5, but I also could be like 2 over 2, gone. I don't like you. I could also do a squared over a squared, gone. We don't have to multiply before we simplify. So we're really left with... 10a to the third over 8, which, oh no, 10 over 8 simplifies. They both divide by 2. That gets us 5a to the third over 4. Final answer. Okay, so multiplying, not bad. Especially the next one we're doing where, uh-oh, move the camera. There we go, got it. Um, where it's already factored for you for the most part. So here, k over, k minus 2, k minus 2. They're gone. They're the same factor. You may think that the 6 minus k and the k minus 6 factor uh, would cancel, but they don't. Not yet, at least, because see how this is a negative k and that's a positive k? And this is a positive 6 and a negative 6? This is another situation where you would need to factor out the negative and change the sign, change the sign of both of these to make it a k minus 6 like we want to get it to cancel. Okay, so we had to factor out that negative, and then we end up with our final answer of negative 7 over the k plus 10. You don't need to write the parentheses, but you can write them if you like them. They're a nice decoration. Okay? 
We got a few more, well, only one more multiplication problem before we do division. Division doesn't really change much. All this really is is factoring. Again, what multiplies to 60 but adds to 4? Um, 10 and 6. And sometimes you can get a hint from the things that are around it because uh, there was a r minus 6 here and there was a r plus 10 there, so I could, I could have used that hint to kind of get my idea of what multiplied to 60 and added to 4. r minus 6 cancels and the r plus 10 cancels, leaving us only with r plus 5. If there's nothing on the top of the fraction, you can keep it that way. If there's nothing on the t bottom of the fraction, I think I said it backwards. If there's nothing on the bottom, you can keep it. You don't have to write r plus 5 over 1. If you had the one on the top, you would have to write one over though. You can't just leave it without nothing on the top, but you can leave the R plus five by itself. Our first division problem, our very first division problem. All you have to know for division is flip and multiply. Uh, some middle school teachers say keep change flip. That's too many syllables for me. So this is really going to be, I'm gonna rewrite it for you the first time. Um, but I would, you know what, why you rewrite it, you might as well factor a little bit. Uh, oh, but we can't, we can't factor out that. So I'm just going to rewrite it, just going to rewrite it. And I'm going to regret not having a calculator at the moment. Flip the fraction. Write it correctly and multiply. So all we have done is flipped the fraction. We only flip what we are dividing by. We don't have to flip what we are dividing. Now we factor everything. This does look like a harder factoring problem, but hey, it's possible. They do exist. So we have to do either the factoring method of your choice, which could be the tic-tac-toe, the factor boxes. Um, I'm going to show one that is unique. I have not shown my students this. So if you guys are watching, congratulations, you're learning something new. I like multiplying the 5 and the 40 together to get negative 200. And what multiplies to negative 200 that adds to 46? I'm going to have to think about that one. Um, it's not 1 and 200. It's not 2 and 100. It's not 4 and 50 either. Oh, it's 4 and 50. I'm an idiot. Uh, 5B minus 4. This would be... B, I'm going to write it off to the side, B minus uh, 4 and B plus 50. But because we had this 5 in the beginning, we divide both of these by 5, which 50 divided by 5 is 10. So it would be B plus 10. 4 doesn't really divide by 5, so it is going to be 5B minus 4. That 5 just goes whoop, right in front. Okay? So I factored that one. I still have to factor this fraction. These involve a lot of factoring. I'm sorry to tell you this. And in this case, the top of the fraction, they both divide by not only a 12, but a 12B, leaving us with B plus 2. And this bottom fraction, I'm going to have to do in maybe two steps. I'm going to first start by recognizing that this is really... 2b plus 12b squared plus 12b plus 20. And that would make my factoring a little bit easier because now I don't have to do this multiply the 5 times the 40 thing. I can just factor this as is because what multiplies to 20 and adds to 12, there is no number in front of the b squared. We factored out that too. So what multiplies to 20 but adds to 12, that would be 10 and 2. Multiply to 20 and add to 12. So we got this. This ugly mess. Um, but that's okay. The b plus 2 and the b plus 2 would cancel. The 5b minus 4 and the 5b minus 4 would cancel. You may think that the b plus 10s cancel. They do not. They do not, ladies and gentlemen, because they're both on the bottom of the fraction. But we do have a 2 and a 12. That would make 6. Two divided. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So final answer, we got 6b over b plus 10 and another b plus 10. You are welcome to write b plus 10 squared, which I feel like I should have because I really messed up that second b plus 10. I'm going to redo it. 6b, b plus 10 in parentheses squared. Let's be fancy. There you go. Okay. Got 
another division problem, probably two more division problems, just because they look scary, but they're not, okay? This first one looks scary, doesn't it? Oh, does that look scary? We got m over m plus four and whoa, whoa. All you have to recognize is that this is really dividing by m plus four over five. And I flipped it, oh no, I, ah. m over m plus four, I went too fast is divided by five over m plus four. I went to the multiplication step. So this fraction on the top, that fraction, is just divided by the bottom fraction. It's like one big, big, big fraction family here. So if you're dividing, you flip and multiply. So we got m, m plus four, times the m plus four over five, and then the m plus four is cancel. So we're left with m over five. All right, bonus problem. It's not any different than this one, but it is unique. Because if we had this part on the top divided by this part on the bottom, that would end up being flip and multiply. So we're gonna flip these and multiply. It's gonna be x plus one on the top and then nine on the top. Oh no, nothing's going to cancel. So because this happens, nothing cancels, which is unique. We get x plus one squared because there's two of them and then 81 because 9 squared is 81. All right, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, until next time, stay positive. There are going to be a lot of videos on rational expressions, so buckle up. This is just the first one. We still got to add and subtract and solve and graph and do all a lot of other things. Okay, I will see y'all later. Bye.